The Trelava Pit. Formerly a China clay mine, it's now one of Europe's frontiers in what some are calling the White Gold Rush. After three years of drilling, Cornish Lithium say the site is commercially viable. This is a traditional mining operation where they're extracting mineral from rock. And at the moment, they're drilling down about 120 metres on average and taking out samples of quartz, laying them in piles, and then the geologists will come along and they'll take samples of these piles of quartz to see how much lithium is inside them. The company says this mine will be fully operational by 2026 and will last 20 years. In the Trelava project, which is our hard rock project, that'll produce around 10,000 tonnes of lithium carbonate equivalent a year. So the, the number is something like around 200,000 cars. That would be roughly about 10% or a bit more than the, the UK will require by 2030. We're now going to see a, a much newer type of mining where they extract the mineral directly from the water. It's pioneering technology. They're in the exploration phase and they're trying to work out how much there is in the ground. They think there's a lot, but they're trying to work out how much there is and whether it's commercially viable. The problem with getting lithium out of rock is it takes a lot of energy. Getting it out of water, on the other hand, from deep underground is easier and greener. Well, what we've got is the granite and then the sort of sediments on top. So what we do is we drill down into these structures and then we can pump up the structures back to surface to our plant. Lithium was first discovered in Cornwall back in 1864, but back then, no one had any use for it. So we've drilled down to about 1.8 kilometres, and what we have now is uh, a team of geologists who are installing a packer system, which is essentially a big balloon to isolate the structures that we saw in the drill core and then test them by pumping that water to surface. Mining is, is almost the wrong term for it, it's oh, water processing. Say, can you call it mining? It's more like water extraction. Yeah, water extraction, mineral extraction. From our geothermal water side, that could be significantly more. And yet we don't yet know, we're in the relatively early stages, but every single drill hole we've drilled so far has been successful. And we're really, really excited about the potential there. Which is wrong. To find that lithium-rich water, the company has looked at Cornwall's past to inform them about the future. These maps clearly look very old. How, how old are we talking about with each one? So this one's about 170 years old. That one's slightly younger, about 150 years old. For the past seven years, Neil and his team have been collecting and digitising maps of disused tin and copper mines to help them find lithium. So this is um, really what kicked off the whole hunt for lithium in Cornwall. Um, it's a section from 1864. Um, lithium was first discovered in Cornwall back in 1864, but back then, no one had any use for it. So this here, that's is that 440 metres down? Yeah. Thereabouts, right? Yeah. What would conditions have been like around here for the people working at those depths? So in this particular mine, it's very, very hot. So they would have been working really almost naked, just boots on. 40 degrees? Um, yeah, 40 to 50 degrees, yeah. Right, OK. Um, seriously hot. And also, they have a really big problem with fresh air and breathing. Um, so they would, the way they got around that was they'd have enormous leather bags which they'd fill up with air from the surface overnight and then gradually deflate during the mine shift to keep, the, keep them able to breathe and not suffocate from you know, carbon monoxide poisoning or whatever. So Wow. We don't just have the maps, obviously. The, 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 there's a, an awful lot of additional historic mining data. The um, photographic record is particularly noteworthy. I can show you a few of the historic images we've got. So there are, we've probably got something like 10,000 photographs in the collection here. Cornwall's mining heritage, mostly tin and copper, goes back thousands of years. But the last mine closed in 1998, leaving the county reliant on seasonal tourism. It's now one of the most economically and socially deprived areas in Europe. I feel positive about it, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. We need to use what's here. It should be coming back because there's so much of the mines that have still got stuff in it. It'll bring a lot of investment, a lot of jobs, a lot of money. I happen to disagree, to be honest. <gasps> really? Um, yeah, on account of its effect on natural beauty and its effect on the environment. Our Trelava project is an existing open pit or quarry 
the damage to that has been done long ago. We're going to be very careful about how we mine that, that project. Our geothermal waters lithium projects are, you know, you wouldn't see very little at all on surface. It's a borehole, it's high tech, but you wouldn't see much. There's a Cornish word that sums up our race to net zero, directly. It means the task will be completed, but it's unlikely to be in the immediate future. Paul Hawkins, CGTN, Cornwall.